All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3, RG at Dynasty Part 22. And so we were talking about disinheriting Leonidas possibly last time, but Christopher, um, got, ah, oh, Jesus. Blast me in the comments if I'm wrong about this, but I'm 99% sure it was Christopher. Christopher said, if we disinherit him, won't it just go to his kids? So... If that is the case, we'll have wasted 225 renown on nothing. But he really wants a kingdom, a duchy, and two more counties. Like, he's begging for it. It's... There's a lot going on there. But I had an epiphany in between last episode and this episode. And after being pushed into a corner, Christopher said that, and I was like, Oh God, what am I going to do then? And I realized Italy's getting a little out of control, right? Because it's one kingdom that contains all these counties. Kind of. What if I made the kingdom of Tahert and gave it to Leonidas, giving him the kingdom he so desperately wants, and not even having to give him any new territory because he already owns that territory? It would just cost 250 gold, would get us 400 prestige. I'm going to do it regardless. And now we have the Despotate of Tahert. Oh, Yakabos, I miss you, man. I wish you were with us. Oh my god, what a legend. <laughs> oh my okay. god. Alright, few Hetariae. What? Do we not have 15? Ut no, we we definitely have Hetariae. You're, you're, you're full of it. Okay, anyway. Back to this. Um, yeah, if we get the kingdom... So now he wants all this extra stuff. But what if, sir, you were given the kingdom... The Despotate of Tahertz. And he would become our vassal and not a part of Italy. Let us grant him this. Despot Leonidas now holds the Despotate of Tahertz. And he still wants this? Oh my good god. What? Is there no answer that will satisfy this man? Is he going to take this kingdom from us no matter what we do? That's so messed up. That is so messed up. Bro, you can't be serious. I already gave you a kingdom. And now Italy is less counties or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Um, oh my god. Let's let things play out for a second here. Um, we were looking at a kingdom war on Maghreb. They would not be able to defend themselves against us, and it would be an easy holy kingdom war. And I mean <laughs> easy. It would be trivial. Okay. Okay. We're getting almost as big as the Abbasid. They're 153 right now because they're they're falling apart over on this end. 82, 107, 129. I think once we're bigger than Abbasid, I think we're the biggest that there is, you know? Because these counties are pretty large. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nobody saw anything. Nobody saw, nobody saw anything. Oh my god. <laughs> Nobody saw anything. Alright, so... Sweden's doing great. That's good to know. The Vikings in Ireland are still doing well. Just saying. Okay. Alright, let's do it. It's the last big war. We'll, we'll fight this while we're waiting for the situation to change. And if it doesn't change... Boy, we're in trouble. He doesn't even have allies. Alright, and that is... Oh my god, that's loud. I swear, the other things I do are not as loud as Crusader Kings 3 is. This game is so loud every time I boot it up. Oh! Not that button, thank you. Alright, the Priesthood of Ares is here and ready to go immediately. Good. You guys can go ahead and get started. I'll raise everybody else in the meantime. Hey! We are now illustrious after making the Despot Tate. Very nice. One more rank and we can even do an invasion of kingdom, but I don't think we'll get there. Inspiration realized! 
My lady, my beneficiary Nasser, announces his arrival in a surprisingly loud voice. He proudly holds up a package securely wrapped in cloth. I return from Asia Minor with an artifact for my journey. I take the bulky bundle in my hands and loosen the cords before peeling layer after layer of fabric. Inside is an artifact unlike anything I've seen before. Nasser smiles proudly. This intricate dagger is claimed to be the one that Rostam used to kill the White Deva. The Dagger of Rostam Pedestal! Illustrious Pedestal item. 0.05 renown, 0.4 prestige a month. Enemy hostile scheme success chance down 5%. Army screen up 5%. Heavy infantry toughness up 5%. Court grandeur too. Whoa! This is magnificent! Well done, sir! That went really well, didn't it? Here it is, the Dagger of Rostam. Put it up! That is cool. I'm here for it. Okay, more, more faction problems, I guess. They're not too weak anymore. There they go. Okay. Now nobody's strong enough. Okay, these guys need to get going. Join up with them. These are the siege experts that are going to take over here, okay? And then I'll have everyone else battle ahead of them. It'll be great. Duke Slambert of Olympus finished the Convert Faith in County Viterbo. Good. Let's keep converting the faith to the true ways. Um, there's not much left to convert for us, is there? Um. Yeah, let's work on our piety instead. We're still in fine health, which is good. This succession is still super annoying, which is not. The Twin Sons. Dukes Valerios is spreading around obvious hints that he would like to befriend me. He appears to be a natural socializer and is intim intimating that our shared towns in this area should naturally bring us together. And he is right. Uh, shared interest. He really isn't as interesting as he thinks. You gain 75 prestige. Sure, and he is right. That's what she wanted, and I'm willing to roleplay the character. I have no idea what kind of person Alexandria is, other than that she makes really um, unfortunate advances on uh, many, many people. That, that's, that's really what I know. God dang. Those are some severe casualty penalties. 300? We're gonna have to ha let the Siegers do their work. Alright, let's split off a new army of the Onagers and 900 Levies. You guys will go here. They'll take care of that. And they'll use the Siege Expert known as... Roxana's leading this one, isn't she? Yeah, Roxana, I'm gonna need you to Take a break and work on this, please. Uh, the supply limits here are so low. No matter where I go, they're not going to be enough supply. So maybe the logistician is the right call here. But he's not a logistician. He's a, he's a desert warrior, which is great. But he's no logistician. 500... If we assault this, it'll become two months. We need to speed this up so we don't take those massive casualties. We're gonna need more levies. Unfortunate, but the truth. We need this place seized yesterday. Apparently it was taken by your vassal Count Tiberios. Oh, that took forever. What? Can it, the same guy? Oh, Berngorth has an armor. She's considered a master by her peers. I would love an armor. Yes. I will... I will... I will allow that inspiration to thrive. Assaulting to speed this up. There we go. 100 casualties right there. That is so nuts. We can't move anywhere.
These people aren't worth anything to the war, so we'll go ahead and ransom them. My skilled dukes. My dukes Lambert has proved himself highly capable, especially in academic matters. There are some projects I would like to undertake in the county of Toronto, my leash, with your blessing, of course. Yes! Take the reins! Brutus de Argiad can marry. Gout ridden at 16! That's... <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. Uh... He needs genius, doesn't he? Genius is always the first priority. Uh, Ija Teta? The granddaughter of Prince Olympias. That's still too closely related. Okay. Well, there's no genius on the market. If there's no genius on the market, we can do an, a Herculean Herculean match. Wow, Ija is very talented, isn't she? Never a marshal, is there? I swear, these people don't like being marshal. Anyone beautiful? Technically, but not really. Damn. Jen is intelligent and... Okay, okay. Sure, let's do that. Alright. He doesn't even lose prestige, she just gains 1,200. Yeah. She's, she's doing really well on that one. All right. Welcome to the family. Your intelligence has been noticed, and your skills have been realized. Damn, the supply limits here are non-existent. like Send that jackpot. Let's go. Brutus and my sister, Achilles, will be joining Holy Matrimony. Your grandson, Hyperion, and my sister, Theodora, will be joining Holy Matrimony. Beautiful. What are we going to do about this? I really thought that king thing was going to work. A motto for the ages. I can hear my beneficiary Bjorn Gith muttering to herself from across the hall. I need something great, something epic to make my creation stand out from the uninspired masses. But what just what? When her spirited eyes meet mine, she breaks out into a huge smile and waves to me. My lady, what an amazing idea. Just perfect. What do you think of adding your family's motto to your commission? 50 renown or 100 piety? Yeah, 50 renown. That sounds lovely. Do that. Am I going to have to make all of these, like, voting areas? Man, I would, I would hate to do, have to do that. We might have to... Oh God, man, I don't know how we're going to handle this. This succession is just awful. And she's in poor health again, so we got to figure it out fast. God dang. This Leonidas guy, why is he so entitled to Arrestia, our capital, our main duchy, everything? I don't understand why he's so entitled to it. We're gonna have to lose it, I guess. Like, I've got, I've got no answer for this. It seems like no matter what I do, I'm just giving him more for no reason. It makes zero sense. Wow. I'm blown away by this. I've never seen this happen in my... I mean, I've only played this game. This is my second and a half time. This is only my second full playthrough of the game, but I've never seen a character just refuse to give up his... Like, like that. That's just so garbage. 400 casualties. Jesus Christ. I can't believe how much we're getting locked down here, too. That's so... That's such a shame. Whatever. We're taking 400 casualties. We can't wait all year for this. Uh, there's one against the Tyranny War. Okay. So he held on. Yeah, this really sucks, but I can't be bothered to care right now. I guess we're just going to have to suffer that massive penalty. The map. Yeah, we've seen this one. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. She's trusting, so she don't, won't do the other one. Disgusting that we had to do that, honestly. 400 casualties, not deserved. At all. But whatever. Assaulting the fort doesn't even seem to do much right now, does it? Not really. Okay, 
here's the military. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to give him another kingdom, thinking that maybe, just maybe, it'll work. But I'm, I'm, if I sound frustrated, I am. I just don't understand how this game can't rationalize that he's not getting that kingdom. Wow, Zoe drank herself to death. Well, they're not voting for Zoe then, are they? That's tough. Uh, Sigurder is a part of the, because he's Sebastianos' kid. Ooh. <gasps> this is the jackpot possibility. Come on. Oh! He almost is! Wow! Oh, he deserves a hell of a name, doesn't he? Tiberius is almost an, is almost the perfect name. Beautiful genius who's also robust. I'm gonna name him Tiberius. I think the recommended was fine. Ah, oh, let me let me look at my options first. Kairos, Irenios, Lazarus, Methodios, Philotheos, Theodoros, Leon, <laughs> Tiberius. It's telling me that this is the right call. Oh my god. This kid has such un tapped potential and imagine if he's like the first kid in generations to roll a martial personality trait obviously i'm exaggerating but damn it it just seems like they're never doing that wow okay okay let me find some names actually how about we do that you guys have been you guys gave me haven't given me names super recently but um let me see i'm going back right now it's been like a week since I've gotten any names, but you guys gave me really good names. Um, Kronos. Kronos is a god's name. But, uh, you know what? We haven't used this name yet, shockingly, but Richie said Alexander. We haven't had an Alexander since Alexander the Great. It seemed almost sacrilegious at the time, but this kid? Maybe he's the next Alexander the Great, you know? We can always rename him if we need to. That is always an option if you're the character. Which I t completely plan on him being our future character in the future. That, that was redundant, but you get what I'm saying. Alright, Aristotle. You're the only one qualified. Take the roll. Alright, this is the capital right here we're about to take. Let go. Let this low supply army go hunt down whatever this is over here. Their military. See if we can do something with that. They're gonna go and try to get it back. I'm sure. Oh hell yes, my lady. <laughs> I returned from Western Africa with an artifact from my journey. Inside is the hide of a majestic stag. Ali tells me how he felled the vicious animal while I continue to admire the hide of what must have been a majestic animal. This is magnificent. Hide of the elusive stag of Bonamanso. Look at the renown and prestige from that illustrious large wall ornament. Ooh, that's more competitive. We were looking for a, a, sh a small wall ornament, but hold up. How good is this? Not as good as this hide we just got. Damn, that's a very high level hide, isn't it? I'm so stoked. Okay, Prince Granicus the second, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna unpin him. We're keeping track of him because he's currently our player heir. Cadmia, high hopes for. But fair enough, we're good. Uh, Hyperion, still have high hopes for my grandson. And then Alexander de Argiad, our great grandson, is looking top notch. Um, I'm also a genius, so let me uh, go ahead and tutor this kid. Oh, he's not Hellenic? He's old Hellenic and Greek? Oh, we gotta fix that ASAP. Definitely, definitely, definitely. An indulgence from Baroness Antonia of Elison. Thank you for your indulgence. We have so much money spent right now. I probably have too much military raised at the moment. I have probably burned a lot of money I did not need to burn, if I'm being completely honest. So, my bad on that one. Kino can be ransomed for 50. Ooh. 
Inspiration, considered opinion. My armor, Bjorn Gith, updates me on her progress, droning on about the limits of tongs and bellows as my mind reels with bold ideas for my mail. Fortune may not be my personal forte, but that doesn't mean I can't have a say in how my money is spent. Um, 88% diplomacy challenge for a slightly higher quality. Higher quality, 72% prowess challenge. 73% higher prowess, or higher quality martial challenge. So slightly higher at 88 or higher at 73. I have a few suggestions. Your ideas should work well at 73%. Let's go. The armor is going to be even better. That's what we're talking about. Get back here. Do we have an organizer out here? No, but this will stop us from starving for longer at least. Taking the knee. Serve me well, Duchess Euphrasia. Court grand level 10, alright. Are they for real? Are they going around that way? Why is this movement so terrible? Indulgences from Baroness Rodanth of Aki. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna start starving soon. Dukes Valerius was friendship. I'm starting to realize how much Dukes Valerios and I have in common, and how dependable he's proved himself to be during these last few months. We should spend more time together. He's clearly swaying me, and I'm okay with that. Wow, they booked it so much faster than we can. That's a serious shame. What a bummer that is. Yeah, they got caught. They got caught caught. Jesus Christ. Got caught in the mountains out here. Oh, good! Made them leave. Thank God. Honestly, they should have kept attacking us there. They shouldn't have walked. They shouldn't have ran away, but we'll take it. A new opponent. Okay. The Grand Emirate of Maghreb. Yeah. He, I mean, he's not any stronger, so... He's got some allies that are also nothing. My goal is still the same. The war rages on. Salama died. Rip. Wait, why am I not sieging this right now? Are you serious? That's absurd. I'm almost just gonna take these casualties because I'm sick and tired of this game telling me where I can't move. For God's sake. And look how slow we move! This is absurd! I almost can't believe it. I can, because I have to, but I almost can't believe how much we're just not allowed to move. It takes so long to go anywhere and they're so just starved. They can't do anything. Gonna have to count on this holy order. Um, let me see here. This is a mess. This is what that's what that's that's what this is. None of them are ready to gather at all. Whatsoever. Wow. All because my men starved out there. Martial arts respect. Good. You know what I don't respect? My son for trying to take all this crap from me. This is really all I can think about. But I guess we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that we're losing it. I don't see how we can't lose it. We'll still have counties, we'll still have Rome. Obviously the capital will get moved. Rome makes five gold currently, this makes seven. So, you know, not great, but. Yeah, she's working on Rome right now. Wajia is under siege, good for it. Very proud of that. 
All right, go for the capital, I guess. And these men can't gather at all. They're like way out of it. And the time's not moving slow, just all the people are moving slow. Which is so weird. I guess we have to get used to desert warfare because... This is way different than what I'm accustomed to. Bunch of people being useless when it comes to moving. And starving constantly. Garrison of 250 is not too bad. Assaulting is worth nothing for whatever reason. Wow, she already finished her mail. Burnished mail. <gasps> Whoa! With a flourish, she rips the fabric covering away my, my eyes grow wide. While the chain links do not offer room for decoration, the excellent work on the riveting sets this piece apart from common mail. The set includes a spangin' helm and an aventail. The whole armor has been plated with a thick layer of gold. Magnificent. A famed armor. 9% night effectiveness, 0.1 prestige a month, and 10 prowess. That is magnificent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is so much better in every way. That is absurd. Love it. So yeah, I guess we're just going to have to deal with the fact that we're losing Arrestia, we're losing Sardinia, we're losing our capital. You know. I don't, I, I don't have an answer. I really don't. And I'm sorry for if I'm missing something that everyone else thinks is obvious, but... I 100% legitimately do not see an answer for how to deal with the absolute lunacy that is going on right there. And I just lost those men, which is great. It's fine. Yep, I have, I have no answer for most things happening right now, to be honest. It seems like we have no good options, unfortunately. We should have just... Um, raised the Knight Order and not raised anything else. Probably, if I had to guess, that's the only thing we could have done right. Just move. Please, for the love of God, move and stop letting them get away. Okay, finally, 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 somebody's moved. Fast enough to catch an opponent. It's just levy, so we're not going to do any damage. But we got lucky. Thank God. Thank God. It's over. That was a lot. To the Baron High Priest Alexandria, you child of a mangy dog. You're a much greater foe than I imagined, so be it. Disband all. 97 to 628. Yikes. That war was ugly. Definitely our worst war yet. Um, yeah, that just did not go... The way it should have. It did not go well. British Khmer. I already betrothed this man to somebody. What happened? Did it fall through? I guess? Huh. A vassal in my realm. He would take over, clearly. But she's moving up in the world. If she marries my grandson, so... Let's give that a go, I guess. Titles to be usurped. Um, the Grand Emirate of Maghreb. We can usurp that for 500 gold. That seems like a lot, just to take Maghreb. Oh, Leonidas, dude. For real. Can you chill? Can you absolutely chill? I take something and he immediately feels entitled to the next thing. <laughs> it's insane. Oh my god. Can move Sicily. Could do that. That doesn't have a kingdom yet. Let me see if I give him the Kingdom of Sicily.
how does he feel entitled to all that? Isn't that insane? How in the world can one man be that entitled to that much stuff? He's your child. Apparently we're not allowed to do that. I was thinking about murdering him. Um... I mean, Jesus Christ, I have no idea. I have no clue. Absolutely no idea. If I usurp this, that's 500 gold. Gain 400 more prestige. Maybe that makes him happy, but let's be honest, it probably won't. It'll probably be some bullshit that he won't accept. And now he wants all of our counties up here, instead of just two. <laughs> and he wants Rome. What the f What is happening? Leonidas, you are my worst enemy I've ever had in this game. What do we do about this kid? This waste of space. This rotten apple. The target of my fury. Hmm. Like, if I give him this kingdom and he's still not happy with that, I almost just disinherit him out of principle. God's sake. Do I give it to someone new? These two are unlanded and very talented. With talented kids. I'll give it to someone new. He's not going to be happy with Maghreb anyway. What is his obsession with Arrestia? Why does it have to be Arrestia? What is it that makes it... Do I have to destroy that title, maybe? So that he stops asking for it? 800 prestige to destroy the despotate of Arrestia. If I do that, will he go for something else? We're really trying everything out here. We get the bonuses from making it regardless, right? Till 1006, we have all those advantages. The Despotate of Maghreb. See, now you're talking a little more... Now you're making more sense. And then I can make a duchy over here. Here's a duchy right here. We're spending so much money, by the way. <laughs> now he wants both duchies. Jesus Christ. He's a nightmare, is what he is. This is out of control. And then he'll have two kingdoms that'll get split two ways, and hopefully, he'll be a happy guy. I don't know what else I can do. He's still not happy. It's still not enough for him. He's gonna take everything. Every single- every single thing we have. I tried everything, shy of disinheriting him. And there's nothing left I can do.
This is my last option. It sucks to lose so much renown, but... To hell with this kid. Let's see what happens. I'm sorry, Christopher. I tried to take your advice, but... He refuses it. Time and time again, we've tried everything we could possibly think of. But Leonidas is just that guy. That absolute nightmare. And now there's no issue. <sighs> you piece of shit. I'm sweating. Partially because my apartment is way too hot, and partially because of how unbelievable this whole episode was. Should have just disinherited him from the get-go. Damn it. So annoying. But it is what it is. Brutus again, man? What is happening? <laughs> and now this one's just funny. What is happening over here in Brutus's land? For real. Like, <laughs> like for real. What is happening? That's a good match for him. We'll, t we'll take that, I guess. Please, just marry someone, <laughs> Brutus. Just marry someone. Theodora's given birth to a son, Hyperion and Theodora. The potential here is great. And he's just a handsome boy. That's fine. Constus. Niketis. Niketis has a good rig to it, doesn't it? Sebastianos is a good ancestor. Sinarco. Gafrido. Bez... Bezprim? Man, if he was a warrior, I'd have named him Bezprim. Sebastianos. That sounds like a handsome dude. Grace, take the hand of your grandson Brutus in holy matrimony. Excellent. Damn, that's so much renown wasted. But you know what? Even though everyone likes us 20 more now, or likes us 20 less now for five years, I could not care less. Just anything to get Leonidas out of my life. <laughs> he was so frustrating to deal with. I've never had that much difficulty with a character before, ever. Look at all these people that are now eligible for the Emperor's Throne that weren't before. Huh. Some children become... St well, still children, and they're still put up for competition. Interesting. No, I don't think we'll get better than Granicus II. I'm happy with that. His wife won't be much help, because she'll be busy doing the Duchy of Lombardy stuff, but... Is what it is. Alright. At long last, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Court Artifacts. Book. Find about warfare. Yes, please. Huh. Court Grandeur's not stacking up anymore, huh? We can't get to 10 no matter what we do. So if we're not going to get there anyway... Let's lower our servants and food so that we are at... 9 Renown. Or, yeah, 9 Grandeur. Throne room event. Let's see what's going on. Talk to me, finger bones of a basilisk. <laughs> okay. A peddler in a cloak with dozens of baubles and knickknacks sewn into it rattles up to me. My lady, I have an artifact of grand illusion with which you may convince all you possess magical power. She brandishes a colorful fabric worm on a very thin string. It appears dormant at first, but by manipulating the thread, one can affect the illusion the worm has come to life. Think of how this will impress the lords at court. 75 piety for Puppet Master, or I do enjoy some wriggling worm on a string artifact. What? Every child in your court gains 10 opinion? I'll not play the Puppet Master. 75 prestige, please. Thank you. And with that, we have enough prestige for another war. Should we get into another war? Unsure about that one. Ooh, Maghreb just split split, didn't it? Ooh, Tuat is... Wait, Anbi? This is a kingdom right here? Interesting. That is a very split kingdom, isn't it? Mazav is kind of a mess because it's two different kingdoms. Okay, so it's actually this duchy right here that we want. Not even a duchy, it's a split of other things. 
Huh. Huh, I say, huh. Hawara we could take in one slip. It's true. But it's also just a duchy, I think. It's just... Well, it's duchy size, but it's not a duchy. Damn. Okay. Alright, we don't have an obvious war in Africa at the moment. Bavaria looks good, doesn't it? Bavaria is almost a perfect take. Would you look at that? It's missing some stuff there in the in the right corner. But yeah, Bavaria looks really nice. 5,600 men with no allies. Man, gold's an issue. Susana of Bavaria. Huh. Interesting. I was originally going to go down here, but I'll let them figure themselves out for a little bit first, I guess. We can take the Duchy of Tuat and all these other smaller areas. True, we could do that. We were for duchies, only 160. This is two counties, this is one county, and this is one county. And this would connect us to the lower bridge, wouldn't it? It would be a little bit of a frustrating war, I imagine, because of the movement between spaces again. But oh, they're working with mercenaries right now. I'm just cautious about picking up Bavaria at the moment. Um, because of our succession coming up soon. So how about, there were 1754 with decent allies, 1264, 455. Let's do a quick, nope, never mind, we're at truce with them, we can't do that. Alright. Okay. We don't have a lot of money for this, but we do have the holiness. Other Catholic rulers may join the war, it's true. They might do that. We'll see if they do. Are we ready for another war? That's another excellent question. Sorry, I'm a bit of a mess this episode. I've, I've been I've been out of my depth. No, we're not ready for another war. Now we wait. <laughs> I've been out of my depth. I should have just disinherited him from the beginning. The session is now clean. We're all good to go. It's just... Why did it take all that? Oh, yeah. She did... What? At 33? Mysterious circumstances. Someone had her killed. What? Yeah, I know she's a powerful vassal. <laughs> you don't gotta tell me. <laughs> Roxana of Italy's got 66 counties under her control. Leonidas has 31. Yikes. Yikes. They both love me, though. Even though I disinherited him for minus 75 and disinherited her minus 20, he still loves me. Well, Alexandria, I don't know how much time you got left, girl, but <laughs> it's probably running dry a little bit, isn't it? Good. The county task in Roma is done, which means Viterbo is not perfect again. Damn. This place is being difficult. Yeah, good thing our domain makes so much gold because our vassals are not good for it. Alright, these are maximum size because we're not at 10 grandeur. To the squeamish high priest Alexandria, who will not stand for your vile oppression of Buter Abadis any longer. Oh, wow, the, the faction actually came to fruition. Would you look at that? Well, good for them. <laughs> you want freedom? You shall have it in death. Here they are. Well, Leonidas, make yourself worth a single thing and help, please. I'm so mean to him now, but like, I don't even care. He has it coming. Holy Order should be enough for this. Shouldn't even have to raise a real army. By that I mean any of ours. Plus 31 advantage there. Alright, there goes that one. Wow. 
pretty talented marshal. I'll go ahead and hold on to him. 54 to 1500? Where do y'all think you're going? Oh, dang. They hit him while they were gathering. The spotate of Tarrant's gonna lose. Oh, are you kidding? You had all that strength and you blew it, Leonidas. You blew it. All that strength. Yo, what is this movement speed? Oh, my bad. <laughs> it's paused. I was like, hello? Now it all makes more sense. Alright, go get him. It's gonna take four months to get there, though. That is an audacious spot to go for. Melissa died! No! Yeah, it'd be good to have a powerful vassal here, but it's more important to have someone who's actually really good at it. So, Leonidas de Argiad, you're not even... Oh, you're both deceitful? <sighs> That's not good. That's not good. Our most talented Leonidas we could put there. Sure. He's not great, though. He's really not good at it. But everyone else is deceitful and fickle. That's not what you want on your spy master. All right, you're temporarily our spy master, Leonidas. Do your best. Please don't mess up. Good, they're coming back. Okay, we don't have a court physician anymore. That means we need a new court physician. Man, I feel like I did a really bad job this episode, to be honest. That, um... Yeah, my husband can do it. Perfect. Nice. Uh, yeah, I just feel like I didn't do my job very well, but I really tried to do everything but disinherit because Renown is so hard to come across that I didn't want to have to burn all that Renown just to clean up a succession. But I guess I should have just committed to it earlier. That's my bad. I should have just committed. Why did you start gathering there? What the hell was that? <laughs> Let's gather like four days journey away from the opponent. It'll be great. All right, there, they've gathered. Go. Go get them. Had to raise a little bit of army here. Wow, she got to hold court twice. That means she lived for five years. All right then. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. Gesture for the line to approach. Frightful presence strolls too close before a guard steps between us. Ooh, she backs off with a wink, laughing through scant teeth. Your ladiness, I'm coming here from Iglesias with a matter of great import. <laughs> great import. <laughs> Her eyebrows undulate. You see, Basilissa, the bailiff's wife, Sow, slipped the fence one night, and sh she only went and got into the old bower's veggie boyer's veggie patch. His pride and joy, tears of laughter streamed down the convulsing peasant's face. Oh my god, look at this absolute stunner! Dispute settled for ten years. Wow, nice. Highfalutin for ten years. You gain common touch for ten years. Uh, Steward, Ar Steward Aristotle, go fix it, please. We'd have to pay her a lot to make her a jester, jester so no. My vassal Duke Samad can barely contain his rage, erupting something must be done about that Baranus outsider. He gesticulates wildly. I've had quite enough of Duke's misogynies and his ridiculous customs, so obsessed with pleasing Zeus and their clergy. It's time for your foreign subjects to adopt the mores of their betters. Um... The much you could learn from others. Hellenic or no misogynies is a loyal vassal. Olympus is a land of many peoples. Our nobility must be Hellenic. True. But uh, he is a loyal vassal regardless, so we're working on it. Did he convert back to old Hellenic like a loser? Over the last few days, I've heard tell of a mighty hero of the peasantry. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Boldness without envy, huh? This hero who goes now by the name Akaterine has been defending the small folk from the Greek raiders and has now traveled the way to Cagliari to seek an audience with me. 
Whoa. Whoa. There's no doubt that Icatarine is a great hero. However, my court are adamant that I do not elevate a common member beyond their station. You'll join my court for 200 gold, which I barely have. Um, honored frontier hero. You should be rewarded with a place in my household. Yeah, and please, welcome. Wow, my business here is done. Oof. A holy warrior leader, 39 prowess. She's got the whole thing. Oh my god. Chase brave and honest. What a hero. 20 base prowess. That's not even physic. That's not even possible normally. That's insane. That is insane. Well done. Yeah, I got to read. Go ahead and lead this. Your first your first task. She's for she's military engineer and holy warrior. What more can you want? Wow, Ikaterine. It's a shame you're not a part of the Deargia dynasty, to be honest. You would be great. Get him out of here. Peasants always go down. 346 to 4577. Where's the rest of them? There they are. Go get them. This won't end until they're gone, so go get them. I know I'm in debt. I know. I know. I know. Tell you what. Um, actually, everybody hold up. I need I need to disperse the army. I did what I needed to do with them. Why are you still moving? Okay. Never mind. They're not. That's somebody else. I'm just kidding. That's my fault. Split off new army. Okay. So... The Holy Order and the and our Heterie. This is who we want. Go get them. Everybody else, go ahead and disband. See how long it takes to go anywhere here? 16 days to make that journey. But why? I don't understand a why. Why does movement take so long here? There. Alright. We're gonna get out of debt here. It's not super clean answer, but it's an answer. Three months before we even get there. Yikes. Oh, wow. Do they not have a leader? No, they don't. Yeah, the Grandmaster's good for that. We're in debt. I mean, kind of, but not really. We're not really in debt. Let's see, make sure the vote score is two votes for Roxana, but 14 for Grand Kiss II. Feeling confident about that. Seek indulgences from Mayor Bibiana of Vecchio. Of course. That's another way to get out of debt. All these different answers to the same, the same problem. So Olympus is now up to 147 realm size, which makes it the second largest realm on the map. Only after Abbasid, and it's basically equivalent. Wow, we are huge, actually. Over 10,000 if we're at full strength. Alright, Sigurder and Sebastianos, my grandson. This is another jackpot potential. Great granddaughter! That's not bad. It's not as good as Alexander, but that is not bad. Um, Alexandra? Alexander and Alexandra? I mean, come on. They're just, they're so talented. It's wild. Alright, go get them. Let the battle be good. And now the peasants are dealt with. <gasps> Whoa! Right in the middle of battle! For six years we were doing that. I can't scroll out. That's really stressful. High Priest Alexandria of Hellenic High Priesthood has crossed the River Styx at 72 years of age. She drank herself to death. No wonder it was so sudden. Although quite famous for her sharp intellect, she still could not outsmart Hades. 
High Priest Granicus II ascends to the throne. Possessing a mighty physique and an exceptionally astute mind, his rule is sure to be both to spawn both song and tale. Damn straight. She drank herself to death at the age of 72. She was the cultural head of the Hellenics at her time. She was illustrious, a paragon of virtue. Uh, she was working on her lifestyle of learning, but she was a successful diplomat. She fought in five wars, four offensive and one defensive. She held the title for six years in between um, handoffs, basically. High Priest Granicus was the big guy, the one. Alexandra, Alexandria took over in the meantime as it was getting prepared for the next true ruler to take over, so to speak, even though she was definitely a legit ruler. High Priest Granicus II of Hellenic High Priesthood. Of course, it's High Priest Granicus II. Continue. He is a distinguished, devoted servant, the cultural head now. He's the high priest. That's a big helmet. He That's a big crown he thinks he's rocking here. Continue as High Priest Granicus II. And it looks like the handoff all went according to plan. Okay. She is my player heir, huh? Only if she outlives me. Alright, uh... He already has whole of body? Wow. Wow, he already did the medicine focus down this whole tree. That's pretty crazy, actually. Okay, interesting, interesting. I'd like to change your lifestyle to stewardship. Because that's what you're supposed to be? Weird that he went away from it. He's already got Architect as well. Let's we'll start working on money then. Um, His stewardship. He doesn't have the help of his wife because she's busy doing other things? No, wait a minute. Why is, Ro why is Roxana the player? Oh, because of the boat, I'm sure. Never mind. Just kidding. Uh, Alright, so this lover's pox is really gross, but it is what it is. Oh, we're doing that next time. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop because the episode is over, but next time we will take over as High Priest Granicus II of the Hellenic High Priesthood. At 47 years of age, he's only in fine health. Um, I was looking at the wrong player, clearly. That's my bad. High Priest Granicus, there he is. He's got Architect. Uh, he could still be working on a learning skill, perhaps. Get, get his... Um, health together, but I don't think that's what he would do, so we're not going to do that. Got it. I was looking at the wrong guy. 36 prowess, though. I mean, pfft. let's go. We got a lot to figure out next time, but the handoff was successful through all of the stress and all of the strife. I apologize for all my bitching and complaining throughout the playthrough <laughs> this time, this part. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was so frustrated by Leonidas, man. Uh, we're still missing... Some of that 225 renown we spent, but is what it is. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining High Priest Alexandria and I on this journey in Crusader Kings 3 with the RGI Dynasty. This time, next time, sorry, High Priest Granicus the Second. Hopefully, gonna try and live up to the name High Priest Granicus the Second. Just gonna give him his headwear, and then here we go. Beautiful. Thank you all so much. And High Priest Granicus the Second and I will see all of you next time. I'm excited.